Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my tops and blouses declutter. If you missed part one, you can check that out right here. Uh, so far, I have decluttered everything, <laughs> pretty much, um, except for my skirts, that will be next. But if you've missed out on any previous declutters, I do have an entire playlist that I will leave down below for you to check out. It has my dresses, all of my accessories, shoes, handbags, jewelry, and my coats. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and continue my declutter. This is from a brand called Storettes, and I don't know if they're still around, but to be honest, I bought a couple of things and I wasn't that impressed with the quality. So I really love the design of this top. I think it's super cute and I love this bow. It's super, super pretty and I love how it looks under my dresses, but the quality is kind of, mm. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I need to try this one on. More than likely I'll keep it because I do really like how it looks. It's just, I just wish I had a better version of it. This is from a brand called Saint and Sophia. It's a newer top. It's really, really pretty. It has this gorgeous silky material and a floral print on it. It's kind of like a burnout top. I think that's what they're called. And it has a beautiful bow at the neckline. It's very pretty. You can dress it up or dress it down. I think that this one is also from Chic Wish. It's very beautiful. The material is silky and it feels so nice. It has pearl buttons on the sleeve and this really pretty bow um, with a pearl detail on the front. It's super cute, super feminine. I absolutely love it. This is also from Chic Wish and this is a wrap top. It looks adorable with skirts. It's very pretty, very flowy, and it's more on the casual side, which I love because I don't have very many casual tops, but it has these really beautiful like um, ruffly details along the neckline and the front and on the sleeve and it's just very billowy and flowy. This is from a brand called L'Atelier and it's a gorgeous cream silky top with black polka dots. It's really beautiful. Of course it has the necktie. I feel like that is totally my style when it comes to long sleeve tops. It has kind of like a Mad Men look to it. Very pretty, very retro looking, um, definitely me. This is another beauty from Chic Wish. It's in a true cream color and the fabric is very silky and it's really nice. It has these beautiful flowers on the front and a sheer panel at the top. It's very wearable and goes with a lot of different things. This is from CC, and this is another of my most worn tops. I feel like my most worn, like basic tops, are from CC. They do that very, very well. So this one has some ruffles on it, and there's this beautiful, like, embroidered detailing. There is a little bit of a stain here, so I need to see if I can get that out. But um, I will definitely be keeping because it is one of my favorites. This is from Bowden and it's adorable. It has um, kind of like this large eyelet pattern and there's some scallop detailing that goes down the front and there's a little keyhole right here. It's very, very cute and it goes with a lot of different things. This is a recent find from Chic Wish and it looks more like a jacket and I guess you could use it as a jacket, but it also looks really amazing as a top as well. It does have a slight Parisian vibe to it. There's gold buttons and lots of ruffles. It's really, really cute and I think it looks very chic, but it's still very affordable. This is a peasant top from Bash it is so beautiful. It's so light and airy. It has this gorgeous embroidery at the front and it just, oh my gosh, I just love it. It's this nice, light, gauzy fabric and it is the ultimate casual top for me. This is an older one from Zara and I used to wear it all the time. It's very, very pretty. It does have um, that light gauzy fabric, very similar to this one. And there's some embroidery at the front, but I haven't worn it in a while. So I feel like I need to try it on just to make sure it still fits. This is another top from Bowdoin, and it's more on the simple side, but it does have some very intricate details. There's some vintage-looking lace right here, and you have pin tucking down the front, 
It's a super, super cute top, and I feel like it could go casual or dressy. This one is from Chicwish, and it has this fun ruffle down the front with some pleating. It has the same thing on the sleeves, and it gives me George Washington vibes. <laughs> Lizzie Washington. <laughs> it's really, really cute, and I think it looks amazing with skirts. This is from Review, and oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. One of my favorite white tops. I feel like out of all of my white tops, this might be my very favorite. It's just a simple white blouse, but it has this beautiful embroidery down the front with some little ruffle details. It is very, very pretty, very feminine, and very elegant. I can't remember where this one is from, but I got it early on um, in my blogging career, and it is still one of my favorites. It's very unique, so it has this beautiful pin tucking down the front, but the sleeve details are what makes it incredibly unique. So it has, I wanna say this is like organza or something, and it kind of sticks out, and then you have this lace fabric. It's very, very pretty. I've worn it quite a bit on the blog and on YouTube, so it might look familiar, but I still love it. And this is also from Chicwish, and it's definitely a lot more simple than I usually go for. So it has this ruffled neckline, and you have a little ruffled sleeve, but it is really beautiful. It looks amazing under dresses or with skirts. This is an older one, and I probably got it when I first started my blog, and I have worn it so much. <laughs> so it has a bow tie at the front and then you also have the contrast piping on the sleeves. It is older though so it's looking a bit worn. I feel like I need to try this one on. It is a little thin um, not really the best quality but I still do really like it so I don't know. I'm gonna try it on and see. This is from CC. I think this top is adorable. I love peplums. I feel like they're coming back into style, which makes me happy, but I would have worn it anyway. So this one has this really amazing black bow at the front, a little keyhole, and a slight puff at the sleeve, but it has this really, really stunning feminine shape, and I think that that is what makes it unique. This is also from Review and definitely much more simplistic than what I normally go for, but it has this beautiful ruffled neckline along with some pearls. It's very, very pretty, very feminine, and just a very elegant blouse overall. This one is from Waif, and it has a very open neckline. It's really flattering and really pretty, but I haven't really worn it, so I feel like this is another one that I need to try on. This is from Lily Silk, and if you watched my video on how to wear silk, then this will look familiar. This is one of the tops. It's very, very pretty, so it has this um, kind of like a ribbon that you can tie around your neck or you don't have to, but the details are so beautiful. You have this gorgeous lace and these really beautiful pearl buttons, and then you also have lace and the pearl buttons on the sleeve. It's really pretty, and it goes with a lot of different things. This one is also from Lily Silk, and it could definitely use a good steam, <laughs> so please excuse the wrinkles, but this one is more of a classic silk blouse look, and it has this really beautiful bow tie at the neck. It's a really stunning blouse, and I feel like Lily Silk does silk blouses really well. This is another from Chic Wish, and it is this really beautiful, like, creamy lace. It is so soft, and the details are just unreal. It has these beautiful buttons and ruffles with some pearl detailing. And this is a vintage blouse that I found on Poshmark. Oh my goodness, it might be one of my favorite blouses that I own. <laughs> it is so stunning. Can you believe the colors and the embroidery. I mean, how lizzy is this blouse? And the collar is just so beautiful. It has that gorgeous vintage look, and I just love it so much. This is from Jules, and it has this really beautiful pink and pearl floral embroidery. It is so, so stunning. It looks beautiful with skirts. It's a very stunning, like, springtime blouse. I absolutely love it. 
This is one of my all-time favorite blouses. This is from Sister Jane, and I feel like Sister Jane does blouses and dresses really, really well. Um, they're very exaggerated, which I love, and incredibly feminine. So this has a very unique color. It has like a scalloped look, and then it has these stunning pearl floral buttons, and the entire top is sheer with this stunning floral embroidery and I realize I say stunning a lot so I'm sorry but this is a really really pretty blouse. This is another top from Zara and I probably got this one maybe like two or three years ago. It has this beautiful floral embroidered collar with some bead work. It is really really cute and I love the vintage look of it. This is from Review and in fact this is my very first Review top. So beautiful, so feminine, and I love the vintage look of it. So it has this stunning Peter Pan collar with black lace, and it has this little tie. <laughs> you can take it off, but it's a flower with uh, some ribbon, and you have pin tucking as well. It's just very, very pretty. I love it. This is just a basic button-down top from Jules, but it is in a black and white polka dot print. It's really cute and it goes with a lot of different things. And this is also a polka dot top, but this one's from Cece and it has a really adorable um, bow at the neck and you also have some pin tucking down the front. And this one is from Bowden. The polka dots are quite a bit larger than the other two. But it's really cute and I love the bow tie detail as well. This is a similar top from Chicwish. It has the bow detail at the neck, but the polka dots are actually hearts. So this would be really cute for Valentine's Day or for anything actually. <laughs> it's just a really, really cute top and the material is really nice. It's very silky. We have finally reached my non-white and crepe tops. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one, I think this one is also from Chicwish. It's very, very pretty. I don't remember which way is the front. Maybe this way. <laughs> so this is kind of like a tan nude color with some black polka dots and black lace. It is very pretty, very feminine. Definitely one of my favorites from Chicwish. This is another from Zara, and I think it is so beautiful. So the color is this really beautiful, like pale pink, um, nudie color, and it's beaded throughout with these stunning sequins. It's really stunning. And this one also has a little um, like ruffle at the bottom, kind of like a peplum. I wore this one last year to Palm Spring, Palm Desert, Palm Springs, <laughs> Palm Desert Fashion Week. I think that's what it is. Um, it was for the Michael Costello show. And it, oh my gosh, it's just a very, very elegant top and it's perfect for date night as well. This is another top from Zara, but this is more of like a peasant top. It's so funny because my style is usually very dressed up, but whenever I go casual, it leans a little bit more like romantic boho, which is kind of funny. So this definitely has that vibe. It has a um, kind of like a looser fit and there's a little peplum right here and the sleeves are very billowy and flowy and it has these beautiful sequin florals throughout and it's just a very, very pretty top. This is a Sister Jane top that I bought secondhand from Poshmark and I think it is adorable. I love the beautiful pink floral and of course the bow. The bow is really what drew me in. I think it's so pretty and the back is actually um, pearls so it buttons up in the back it's very unique and very feminine and very whimsical this one is from love shack fancy and i have the dress version as well <laughs> so if you saw my dress video then you saw that but i fell in love with the print it is so beautiful and this is like my ideal floral print it's very very pretty and the top has lots of gorgeous details like embroidery and ruffles and there's also um some it looks like eyelet or something it's very pretty it's a lot but it all works together beautifully and I feel like this is 
a top that can be easily dressed up or dressed down. It looks great with jeans, but it also looks great with a skirt. This is from Chic Wish, and I think it's really, really pretty. I love the floral print, and I love the sleeves. It is a sheer top, and I think it's really stunning. I haven't worn it that much, though, so I feel like this is another one that I need to try on. This is another one from Storettes, and... The quality is a little bit better on this one, but I haven't really worn it and I'm not really sure why because it is very pretty. I do like the color and I love all of the like ruffle details and the bow. So I don't know. I feel like I need to try this one on. This is from Lauren Conrad and I love the pearl embellishments. They are so, so pretty. I really love the color as well. I haven't worn this one that much or I haven't worn it in a while actually. So I feel like I need to try this one on as well. This is another beauty from Lily Silk and this was also in my silk video. It is so pretty. I love the pink color. The silk is just so stunning. Oh my gosh, look at that shine. Really, really beautiful. I love the buttons. It has um, pearls with some gold and these are good, good quality buttons. They're really nice and heavy. And this one also has a um, bow tie at the neck. It is a very, very pretty top. This is from CC, and the color is quite similar, just a little bit darker. It's really cute. It's more of a basic. It just has some buttons down the front, but I haven't worn it in a while, so I feel like this is another one that I need to try on. This is an older one from Chic Wish, and I feel like they've had this top forever. So firstly, the color is so beautiful. It's like Elle Woods meets Barbie, and... Yeah, I should wear this to see the Barbie movie. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited about that movie? I have not been this excited about a movie in a really long time, so definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, so this one has a really fun large bow at the neck, and it's just really, really cute. It looks adorable with skirts. I love it so much. This is from CC, and this is more of a casual top. So it has kind of like a square neckline and a bow detail at the sleeves. It's very, very cute and kind of has that romantic boho vibe. This is from Chic Wish, and I think it is so pretty. The color is stunning, and it has this gorgeous floral embroidery throughout and this beautiful crochet lace detailing along the neck, and then, of course, some ruffles on the shoulders. I feel like the shoulder ruffles are very flattering. Um, at least they are on me. <laughs> so I really look for blouses that have that detail because I think it works really well with my body type. This is an older one from Chic Wish. It's so cute. So it has ruffles all along the front and then it goes down the sleeve. So it just goes all the way across. It's very, very cute, very feminine. It looks great with jeans or a skirt. This is another top from Sister Jane, and I think it is so beautiful. The buttons are out of this world gorgeous. I love the color. I love the ruffles. It's so cute. It looks like a doll top. <laughs> it's very, very pretty and definitely me. This is another from Sister Jane, and this might be my favorite top out of all of them. It's at least top five. <laughs> it's up there. I absolutely love it. So it has this tool overlay with some sunflowers, or not sunflowers, daisies. <laughs> and it's really, really cute, very feminine. I love the pearl buttons and the um, bow at the neck. And then, of course, it has the Peter Pan collar with the ruffles. They are a brand that puts like a lot of details, but somehow it just, it works. It's very, very pretty, very feminine, and perfect for spring. This is another Sister Jane top, and I have the dress version of this as well. I think it is the cutest top ever. It has these little pearl details on the collar, Peter Pan, of course, with some ruffles along the front and the collar. The fabric is kind of like sheer, but it's striped. It's very, very pretty, very feminine. I absolutely love it. So this might be my favorite top from Chic Wish. I've never seen anything like it. It's very unique, very feminine, and it has all of my favorite things. So it has tons of ruffles, but they're super frilly, and it has this really beautiful like floral fabric. 
and it is just so so pretty there's a slight metallic sheen and you also have some swiss dots in there and you have ruffles that go all the way down the sleeves it's very very pretty and very feminine this is a newer one from chic wish they might still have it but it is super cute so the sleeves are tulle and they have little dot pattern on there they're all embroidered and the collar has this beautiful large bow it's so fun it's so pretty and i feel like this would look amazing with a skirt or under a dress this is from white house black market and it's the same color as my top <laughs> it's a very pretty peachy pink um color with a floral pattern kind of like a burnt out look it's really, really cute, very feminine, and this is more like a casual top, which I love, but you can also dress it up. I got this during my Palm Desert trip um, when I went to visit the city, which is a beautiful place. Oh my gosh, I was never a desert person, but going there kind of made me more of a desert person. <laughs> it's really beautiful. If you ever get the chance to go, I highly, highly recommend. This is from Kate Spade. And it might be the only Kate Spade top I have, but it's very pretty. I absolutely love it. So it has this stunning collar and it is in a beautiful velvet. And then you have these stunning pearl buttons that go down the front with a little ruffle. And you have more velvet and more pearls on the sleeve. It's very girly, very feminine. And... I just love it. This is from Chicwish and again another peach top. It's very pretty. The lace is actually kind of like a sunflower pattern and then you have the um whatever this is called like a little detail <laughs> on the shoulder and some crochet detailing along the neckline. It's very pretty. This is from Halogen and it was from the Blair ED collab. And I got a few pieces from that collection. I got a skirt, coat, this top, and then a dress that's actually very similar to this. Um, they're all really, really pretty and I loved the collection. This is one of my favorite tops. I think it's so beautiful. It has these adorable pink bows that go all the way down along with some pearl buttons. And you have pearl buttons on the sleeves as well and a collar. It's super, super cute. This is from Jill Stewart. So I actually won this top. I have worked with the brand for a really, really long time. They have the best girly makeup. It is so cute. And it's really nice if you want like a more natural look. I should really share um, my collection of their makeup. So let me know if you want to see that. But anyways, so um, of course she also has a fashion line and uh, I can't remember how I entered to win this, but I went to an event and then the next thing I know, I was chosen as a winner for this beautiful top. The pattern is so pretty. I love all of the ruffle details and it's just a really fun feminine top. This is from Bowden and I think it's absolutely beautiful. The color is very, very pretty and it has these nice little ruffles down the front. However, I haven't really worn this one and I'm not really sure why that is because it is a very pretty top. So I'm going to try this one on and see how I feel. This is from Chicwish and it's just a really nice kind of like chiffon top. It's more of a basic, but it does have this gorgeous floral print. I love the colors. I think it's very, very pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. This is an older one from Lauren Conrad, and it has these really cute bow details on the sleeves, along with some pearls and some florals. The color is really pretty, but I haven't worn this one that much, so I'm going to try it on. This is from Cece, and it's more of a casual top. It is so pretty. I love the colors, I love the florals, which is interesting because for floral prints, I usually go for more realistic looking florals or like watercolor florals, and this one is definitely more like artsy but I think it is so so pretty I love the ruffles and I just I don't know I really really love it and I think the colors are super nice this is from Chic Wish, and this is a really beautiful like spring looking top the color is so pretty it's um a light blue and it has this beautiful floral embroidery and then you also have a bow tie at the neck and some ruffles that go down the sleeves super girly super feminine 
very, very pretty. This is from Review, and the color is so beautiful. I love it so much. I feel like it could work anytime. So it has this really gorgeous bow in an organza fabric. It's really, really nice. And then you also have the same fabric on the sleeves and a little ruffle. It's super cute. I feel like you can wear this a lot of different ways and it does have kind of a vintage look to it. This is an old favorite from CC, probably one of my favorite blouses. It's more on the simple side, but it has this really gorgeous floral detailing along the front neckline. It's really pretty and it's really flattering and I love the color. This is also from CC and the color is very similar, just a little bit darker, but the fabric is more silky. It's very pretty, very elegant, and it is very simple, but it has this, I don't know what you would call this. Um, it's almost like tucking or gathering or something like at the sleeves so it has this really nice flattering look to it but it is really really pretty this is an older one from Chicwish and it's kind of like a gray taupey color it's very very pretty I love all of the frills and the fabric it has kind of like a Swiss dot pattern and then you have the crochet lace and lots of ruffly details it's really, really cute and very feminine. And this is also from Chicwish, and it is the gray version of my Barbie top. It has the same bow and all of the same details. It's just in a really pretty light gray color. Okay, so I took a little break. It's a different day, but we are going to continue decluttering my tops, and we're gonna finish up today, so that's exciting. <laughs> and luckily, I don't have too many more to go, but this video is getting really long, so let's get into it. This is from Chicwish. It's really cute. Still has the tag. Not really sure how it looks on me, so I'm going to try it on, but more than likely, I will part with it. This is also from Chicwish from one of my recent hauls. Love it. We'll keep it. This is another recent find from Chicwish, and I will keep it. Also from Chicwish, I do really love this one, but I feel like it was too small in the bust, so I'm going to try this one on. This is another oldie from Chicwish, and it's really cute, but I'm not really sure if it's my style anymore. I'm going to try it on, but I might part with it. Also from Chicwish, love the design, not really sure about the color and if it looks good on me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, so I'm going to try this one on. This is Elsie Lauren Conrad. I've had it forever, but I think it might be too small. I'm going to try it on. This was from one of my first brand partners. I still really love it, but I do remember the arms being a little too small, so I'm going to try it on. This is from Anthropology. I've worn it a ton in the past, but I don't wear it much anymore. I'm going to try it on, but more than likely I will part with this. This is from Target, and I still really love it, so more than likely I'll keep it, but I'm going to try it on. This is from Chicwish. It's really cute, but I have a lot of similar tops, so I'm going to try this one on. I also love this one, but I feel like I have a lot of similar tops, so I'm going to try it on, but I might get rid of it. This is a cute casual top. I love the print, the color, and the design. I'm going to try it on. More than likely, I'll keep it though. This is a sheer button-up from Free People, and it's really beautiful, but I haven't worn it in a while, and that's because it was a little bit too small, so I'm going to try it on. This is also another button-up from Free People. It's super cute. Love the color, love the print, but it was a little bit too small, so I'm going to try this one on as well. This is an older one from Elsie Lauren Conrad. I really love the print, but I haven't worn it in a while and I'm not really sure why, so I'm going to try this one on as well. This is also from Elsie Lauren Conrad and I'm not really sure why I have all of these like floral button-up shirts. <laughs> um, I have like a lot of them for some reason but I did used to wear them whenever I was subbing and also back when I worked at the doctor's office um, all of these were way before my blogging days so they're pretty old but I still really do like this one the color and the print is gorgeous but um, I do need to try it on this is from Chicwish and it is super super cute it was everywhere probably like five or six years ago and um, it's just it's really cute but I do remember it being a little too small around the bust so I'm going to try this one on and we've got another floral button up this one is also from Elsie Lauren Conrad and I feel like this is another that I need to try on 
I don't remember where this one was from. It actually might be Sheepwish whenever they first started um, because I've been a customer for a long, long time. But I haven't worn this one in a while, so I'm going to try it on, but I might get rid of it. And lastly, I have this sequined t-shirt from J. Crew, and uh, this is like the only like fashionable t-shirt I have. Um, I just don't wear t-shirts that often, but I will definitely wear one with sequins. This is so pretty and so sparkly. It was one of my favorites for a while. I still really, really love it. Um, last time I tried it on, it was a bit too small, but I couldn't bear to get rid of it. So I'm gonna try this one on again and see how it looks. Um, if it doesn't fit, then I might have to say goodbye. But yeah, and I also had this one in a different color as well. There was kind of like a yellowy, orangey, pink color um and then I decided that I really didn't need both of them so I kept this one because I liked it just a little bit more these are all of the tops that I will be trying on oops this is a dress <laughs> sorry I don't know why that's there um so these are all of the tops that I will be trying on and hopefully I can get rid of them Okay, so I finished trying everything on. These are the ones that I will be keeping for sure. There's just three right there, so yay. And this is the pile of everything I will be getting rid of. And I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> this is basically almost everything that I cleaned out. So yeah, pretty big pile of clothes. I don't know if you can like tell, but there's quite a bit here. So yeah, I would say that it was a very, very successful clean out. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you loved this declutter and I hope that you enjoyed getting a peek into my feminine pink closet. <laughs> if you are doing any decluttering of your own, I would love to hear about it. Feel free to leave a comment below. And I'd also love to know, do you enjoy these types of videos? Because I feel like I'm always doing some sort of decluttering and I can definitely share more in the future if you would like. And speaking of declutters, I do have another video coming up soon where I am decluttering my skirts. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and share. I would love Love to have you as part of the community. If you want to see even more girly feminine um, content for fashion, beauty, and lifestyle uh, non-decluttering, <laughs> then make sure to check out my blog at lizzieandlace.com and follow along on Instagram at lizzieandlace. I will see you next time. Bye!